Good morning, my little artists. Welcome to your first day of art. Um, Mrs. Frost here. I hope you liked my friend Mona Lisa. Isn't she funny? Um, so she had great things to say about how well you did on the challenge and the mission. So I'm going to show you a little bit more about the art room, a close up since you just did the backstage pass. Okay, so when you come to art, Oop, let me turn this around. Uh oh. Okay, when you come to art, you're gonna line up right outside of my classroom along this wall here, single file, nice and quiet to show me you're ready. Once you're ready, I will invite you into the art room. Okay, when you come into art, uh, you'll get a sign seat soon, but for today, we don't really have them. Um, you will go to the color table that I signed for you. The flower on the ceiling will match your color table name, okay? So we got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Can you tell I went in a certain order? And then I have pink and black in the back. I did change the tables a little bit, so it's a little easier for everybody to see in the board where I do a lot of demonstrations and examples, uh, except the back row, sorry. Good morning, okay. ladies. Now here's, um, where art games are held. We do that for reward days, so maybe you'll remember. And then we have the books here are for when you finish something early and you have permission from me. I did separate it though. These two sets of shelves are for um, like younger grade levels, first and second. Uh, I'll show you where the older grade level books are. Uh, here's where we have our class rules. We have a class chart system that was the same from last year. Still have them set from last year. Um, when you earn five out of six checkpoints, and we'll go over that, you get to move your class clip. We all start here at the red. And then as you go, each um, art class, you want to get one every time so that when you get to the end at purple, you earn a reward day. And I have even new rewards from last year. It's going to be really fun and exciting. So you want to make sure you follow our class rules, get the checkpoints so that you can uh, move your clip. And that will be a class job too. Okay. Now the checkpoints, here we go. How did we do? These are our six things that we want to get, walking quietly, line up quietly. So that's each, those are each worth a half point to equal one. Okay. Uh, good listening, help each other, work quietly, respectful, and clean up great. If we get six out of six, which is amazing, you will get to do a class cheer. Here's the list of class cheers. We do go in order. Um, so six out of six just means you're like superstars, and I want to make sure that you know how much I appreciate you being a superstar class, and you can do a class cheer. And yes, they're silly and cheesy, but that's the fun of what it is. All right, uh, right here is our recycling bin. We put paper products here. No paper towels though. I'm very into recycling, so please help me with that. Uh, well, here's the whiteboard. Down here is where we will keep our art books. And you'll remember art books from last year. Some of you that were here, um, they are different from the year before. I kind of make them a little more challenging every year. We will do those um, our first couple weeks of school and then periodically throughout the school year, okay? Um, here is Mrs. Frost's messy art desk. Please try not to touch anything on the desk. Um, I know it's a little crazy, but you will line up near here, so just make sure, please don't touch. I kind of leave important things here. Um, what else? Oh, class bell. What's that mean? That means time to clean up, okay? Usually I give you five minutes for cleanup. Now, if you want to make me a masterpiece at home, um, you are welcome to bring it in. I will hang it up on this very empty board right here. So please bring the art. Let's see. Here are those books I was telling you about for the older grade levels. Um, they're a little more challenging uh, or a little bit more of a, a nicer book that I need to have the most careful hands. Sorry, first and second graders. You'll get there eventually. Uh, we have the art jobs right here. Okay, uh, they're a little different from last year and it's in a different place. Um, now your table color will match up to the job for the day. So we have supply distributor, meaning you pass out supplies. Supply collector means you collect the supplies and put things away for me. Art collector, that will either mean that you help at the drying rack or if it's a dry project for the day, you'll help me collect it and put it in our class folder. Floor inspector means you will sweep up the floor and I'll show you sweepers in a minute. Polishers, now sometimes we'll do painting, a lot of painting, 
and they will help out, pass out sponges or paper towels. Now, if that's not something that is needed for that day, I'll find another job for them. Maybe like sharpen pencils or something like that. Um, paper passer, so that's at the beginning of our project when we have fresh paper that needs to be used or if we are at the um, beginning of class and we're passing out old art, they will be passing that out for me. Noise monitor, they will help with our art letters. I'll explain that in just a moment. They also will help me with call outs and that will be something new this year as well. Am I forgetting something about noise monitor? I think that might be it. Art bins, uh, that's a new job. So is paper passer, by the way. Art bins, now here's the art bins. This is how I'd like them to look, except the pencils aren't in there yet. They will help me organize them at the end of art or collect them from the tables if I ask you to. Um, they don't have to be in rainbow order, but they should match the table color um, just to keep it, keep it uh, nice. All right, here we go. This is a new poster. This is your art room levels, voice levels. I like it to be a normal um, voice level. But it's kind of cool as I have a painting that matches it. Sometimes though, if we get too loud I, and we lose all of our art letters, you'll have to go down to a zero. Silence, no talking. Um, and then we kind of, depending on the day, might have to go to spy talk, whisper, low flow, two. Three is good. But if it gets too loud, I'll give you warnings in the art letters. Mona Lisa quiet. That's just a reminder of when I am talking, giving you directions, um, I'll say something like Mona, you say Lisa, and you have to mimic the famous Mona Lisa. No, she's not related to the rock star Mona Lisa you met on the video. Uh, these are just some nice reminders about craftsmanship. I always want you to try your best. Um, I don't really like sloppy work. I just feel like we have enough time in here to make it your absolute best, so why not try it? And if you do your best, you get higher grades in art. Yes, I do have to give you a grade in art. Uh, over here we have a variety of art supplies. The markers will be here. Um, I have oil pastels. There is some of the um, reward day things down here too. This might get a little more organized as I have more time. I do keep paper here. Very rarely do I say just go grab paper. Usually that might be a job or something like the paper passer. Um, so yeah, this is just here more for Mrs. Frost, okay? Um, up here some uh, VIT DVD things that you don't really need to worry about. I will keep your class folders in these with the day of the week that you come to art. That will be something I need art collectors to help me with sometimes or paper passers. Um, we'll go over that more. Here is our the cutting board. Paper cutter, sorry. <laughs> uh, not a cutting board. Please do not touch. It's very dangerous. Uh, we would not want you to get cut. That's a very sharp blade. So please don't do it. I would hate to have you to go to the hospital because we're messing around with this. Good morning again. Okay. And for the, um, Here the are the seats. Earlier this week, where we? The arrival procedure for the first three days of this week is for all teachers uh, to greet their students in the gym. So we'll have people outside, obviously, ushering them into the gym. And at 8.15, we'd appreciate everybody being down there. The sinks, we have four, so there's no reason to wait in line um, when there's one empty. You're allowed to wash your hands at the end of art, not during art, because you're just gonna get messy again. This is also the where we will bring our paint brushes. Sometimes there will be a bucket here of soapy water, or I will teach you um, how to wash your brush, okay? Uh, it's very important that this is like the painting area. Um, we'll also keep watercolor paints out here and things like that. Here are the sweepers to clean the floor with. Um, that would only be the job of the floor inspector, okay? Uh, there should be plenty for them. If we have a really messy floor, I might ask for extra help. Uh, please don't like open any of the cabinets back here. There's the soap dispensers, but I also have them by the sinks for easiness, okay? All right, now let's say if there was, oh, and there's Mrs. Frost's storage closet. It's actually pretty clean. Yes, wow, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, now if we have, let's say, a lockdown drill where we have to stay in our classroom and turn the lights off, this is where we go. We go here and back here, okay? Uh, make sure we're very quiet. Um, that's just, you know, for safety, we just have to be quiet, lights off, and then they'll let us know when we can continue on. Um, let's say if there was a, oh, here's our drying rack for wet work, paintings and things. 
your garbage can. This is a kiln room, not kiln room. Um, it's a kiln room. It is where we put clay projects. A little messy right now. We put our clay things here, okay? We'll talk more about that later. All right, if there was a fire drill, we would line, push our chairs in, uh, line up single file at the door here, okay? And then you, we will walk together outside and meet pretty much behind, like past the park area. At the end of the day, this is when we also will do our class charts um, and all of the, those uh, to get our points so we can move our clips. Okay, I'm excited. Let's have a great year. Bye.